Hi, kumusta ang lahat? Ako nga pala si Josh at welcome sa aking YouTube channel. Sa channel kung saan mag-upload ako ng mga tips and tricks, tutorials, a little bit of unboxing at everything interesting. For today's video ay magkakaroon tayo ng konting tutorial. Naisip ko lang na mag-tutorial muna ngayon since hindi naman kagandahan yung panahon para mag-video dahil maingay. It's already 6.31pm so I bet you can already hear that cricket sounding like crazy. So <laughs> hindi magandang pakinggan kaya naman naisip ko mag-tutorial muna so that hindi kayo mag-focus more on the audio but more on the pictures na pinapakita ko sa screen. So today we're gonna talk about pictures and how to edit it using your mobile phone. Gamit ang application na Adobe Lightroom. So for today ay gagamitin ko ang laptop ko dahil isa lang naman ang gumagana kong phone at yan ang ginagamit kong pang video ngayon. So, gagamit lang ako ng Bluestacks para makapag-run tayo ng Android application dito sa laptop ko and then we'll start the tutorial. So let's go ahead and open this Lightroom application. By the way, kung wala ka pang Lightroom application, download mo lang sa Play Store. But it needs a subscription, it needs payment para sa full version. Pero kung wala ka pang Lightroom application o full version, just let me know in the comments below. And let's see what I can do para magkaroon ka ng full version ito. So the first thing kapag mag-edit tayo dito sa Lightroom is to open the Lightroom application and add the photo that we want to edit. So tap lang natin itong icon na ito. And then that will direct you to the media browser but in this case dahil naka laptop ako I will be using the drag and drop technique so there you go and, and it says successfully imported files to android and ayan so nakikita na siya natin ngayon dito ayan so like to Okay, so andito na yung photo na na-add natin. Let's go ahead and click that to open. Ayan. So this photo is actually photo ng asawa ko at taken from an iPhone 11 Pro Max. So it's a high-end phone. But as you can see, marami pang dapat i-improve because of the poor lighting na sa loob ng kanilang office. So... This is a good example para illustrate kung paano ko ina-edit yung mga photos sa Lightroom because uh, sa ganitong klase ng photo, marami tayong magagamit na functions dito sa gilid. By the way, kung phone ang ginagamit mo ngayon, itong buttons na to, itong functions na nandito, ay nandito sa baba kung naka-portrait ka. Pero since na naka-landscape orientation tayo, nasa gilid siya. So ako talaga pag nag-edit ng photos sa Lightroom Mobile, ang una ko talagang tinitignan bago ko pakialaman ng mga lighting, effects, and color, etc. Tinitignan ko muna talaga kung tuwid yung photo. So, ni-straighten up ko. Kailangan straighten up. And with that command, meron tayong crop function. So, tinitignan ko sa crop. At inaayos ko kung tuwid. Meron ka namang grid lines dyan na uh, pattern para makita mo kung nasa ayos na o tulad mo yung photo. Like that. Okay. And then next, ang sinecheck ko kaagad is the auto. Diba? Kasi eh, bakit ka pa magpapakahirap may adjust manually kung meron namang auto functions. Yan. So halos wala siyang naging effect. <laughs> And it's fine. Kasi kaya nga nandito ko ngayon sa tutorial ko. Kasi gusto mo matuto kung paano mag-edit ng photo sa Lightroom manually and not the auto function. So let's go ahead and edit this photo manually. So, ang una-una kong 
ginagawa dyan is to manually edit the light okay so sa exposure basically yung ginagawa niya is pinaliliwanag at nadidilim yung photo so sabi ko nga kanina poor lighting yung nandito kaya susubukan natin i-adjust yung lighting niya dagdagan natin ng ilaw na kagaya niyan minsan binabawasan ko din yung contrast o dinadagdagan depende sa magiging kinalabasan ng colors niya in the background okay and then I notice na parang kabingi pa rin yung picture so babalik ako sa crop at kaayusin ito kasi yung reference ko nakita nyo yung line na yan yan yung reference ko okay so balik tayo sa light and then adjust the shadows kung gusto mo uh, ma-minimize yung shadows taasan mo lang just the right amount of shadow is okay na para mag stand out yung ating subject bawasan yung black or dagdagan depende so pag binabawasan mo to makikita mo yung mga dark spots madadagdagan yung pagka dark madadagdagan yung pagka black pag dinadagdagan mo naman mawawala yung pagka black so babalansin mo lang yun and the next is the color but before that uh, let's talk about this uh, curve function actually we can add the, the curve and gusto ko na ipakita sa, sa inyo kung ano yung nagiging effect so first is I put 4 dots here 2, 3, 4 and then notice how the light bends habang binibend natin itong curve na ito so basically yung function niya is a bend yung white na color ito. so kung white yung light ang affected see and then the RGB red green blue so try natin yung red pa kaya laman natin yung red test natin kung ano mangyayari see so basically mamimili ka lang kung alin dyan yung gusto mong i-adjust white RG or B so next is the color now, sa color naman, pag sinabi natin, pag in-adjust natin itong temperature, makikita nyo na medyo nag-warm yung kulay ng picture. Pag in-adjust. At pag binababaan naman, medyo nagiging cooler yung effect sa picture. That's why nagiging bluish or nagiging orangey yung color. So, makikita ako kasi dito sa picture na to, hindi naman bagay kung medyo orange siya. Uh, let's try bawasan natin yung ano, temperature about that or uh, ganyan, ganyan. Uh, I like it medyo bluish right and then vibrance sa tint naman basically ang ginagawa niya is baguhin yung kulay iniiba yung kulay hindi lang yung saturation niya but yung kulay mismo By the way, kapag sumobra ka pala, you just double click that or double tap that in your phones and then babalik siya to zero. And then the vibrance. Okay, notice how the photo becomes washed <laughs> or vibrant. Depende kung ina-adjust natin to the left or to the right. So sa vibrance, let's um, add a couple amount like 10 
and then the saturation ang paborito ko talagang i-adjust dito is the saturation because I like every color na mag stand out so notice kapag in-adjust ko yung saturation to the right it saturates the color so kung blue mas nagbiblue pa siya brown mas nagbiblue brown and other colors okay then we go to the effects Actually, sa effects, ang mahilig ko lang talagang pakialaman dyan is the dehaze. Okay, so, notice how it adds drama to the picture kapag ina-add natin yung um, dehaze to the right and to the left. So, para siyang light, para siyang exposure and contrast din. And then the vignette. So yung vignette is para sa nagkakaroon ng artificial na frame sa gilid. Then darken niya yung uh, frame sa gilid. So notice kapag ina-adjust natin to the right, white yung na-form na vignette sa gilid. At kapag to the left naman is black. So mahilig din ako magganto sa mga photo. Kaya lagyan natin to ng counting vignette. And then if you would like to adjust the roundness then let's go ahead and adjust the roundness to the right yan para ma-adjust si nakikita niyo ba yung changes so, to the left naman nagwa-widen yung roundness niya So, notice kung ano na yung mga nabago sa picture natin. You just have to tap and hold sa inyong mga phone. And then, we can notice the difference from we started the editing. See? So, sa detail naman, basically, ang pinapakailaman ko lang dito is the sharpness. para makita mo yung mga edges na nagsha-sharpen. 33. And then the detail, hindi ko na pinapakailaman yan usually. But kung gusto nyo naman pakinisin yung subject ninyo, let's go ahead and adjust the noise reduction. Okay, so there you go. And then sa optics, hindi ko na pinapakilaman yan dahil it has something to do with the lens. Nung lens na ginamit mo sa pagkuha ng picture na yan. So, let's leave that. At sa geometry, minsan na ina-adjust ko din kung gusto kong papayatin yung subject. So, this is what happens when you adjust the distortion. Adjust lang natin to the right. And then, we can notice here na nagkakaroon ng gaps. Kasi nga, dinistort natin yung image. So, let's trim that down by using the crop function. Okay, just like that. Now, what's good in this mobile editing app is that makakapag-adjust ka gamit ang selective adjustment. Okay, so here we have brush selection, linear gradient, and radial gradient. So, pag-usapan natin yung linear gradient dahil ito yung madalas kong ginagamit. Ah, by the way, before we go to the selective adjustment, let's take a look at this um, spot healing na menu. So basically, yung spot healing is pagtanggal ng mga spots na 
ayaw nating makita dyan sa photo natin so for instance let's go ahead and remove this one so spot heal kukopyahin lang nya ayan just like that and then boom nawala yung nasa, nasa kisame I believe para sa fire alarm so diba nawala so that's basically the use of spot healing menu so balik tayo dun sa selective adjustment so gamitin natin yung linear gradient lagay lang tayo ng point dyan and then adjust Uh, maglalagay tayo ng artificial lighting. So, basically, dito nang gagaling yung light. So, adjust lang natin pala pa rin. So, yung reddish area na yan, yan yung affected ng ating selected selective adjustment. So, anong gagawin natin dyan ngayon? Kapag meron na tayo nyan, we can now manually select ng area ng photo na i-adjust natin. Kagaya ng light. Kapag ginagdagan natin ng expo exposure, ang exposure lang ng part na yan ng picture ang ma-adjust. Then, the contrast, ganun din. So, basically, ang ginagawa ko lang dyan is exposure lang naman para magkaroon ng additional lighting effect. And then, let's go ahead and add another one in here. And then, rotate it. Para, kunyari, may lighting din na upward. And then, let's go ahead and select itong pabilog. Ayan. Dahil ang gusto ko namang i-adjust dito ay yung the mid. Itong, oops. Itong adjust yung kulay. tayo sa color and then use fine adjustment no uh, saturation blue select natin yung blue and then adjust saturation para yung blue lang yung i-adjust nyo see how it saturates the blue And then click done. So, balikan natin kung saan tayo nagsimula. Ganyan, and then boom. So, basically, ganyan lang mag-edit sa Lightroom Mobile. Actually, marami pa tayong pwedeng adjust dyan, but for the sake of the tutorial, hanggang dyan lang muna. So, after that, we now go to exporting that picture. So, click nyo lang tong parang share na icon na to. And then, select an option. Save to device. And it automatically renders the photo. So, that's basically it sa basics ng Adobe Lightroom for mobile. So, I'm not saying na expert na ako pagdating sa editing gamit ang Lightroom mobile. Gusto ko lang i-share sa inyo itong konting knowledge na nalalaman ko about this app. So hopefully ay may natutunan tayo sa video na to. Kung bago ka lang sa channel na to at nagustuhan mo yung napanood mo, please click that like button, subscribe to this channel, at i-click mo na rin yung notification bell para naman ay updated ka sa mga susunod pa nating videos. And again, kung wala ka pang Lightroom na full version, just let me know in the comments below at tutulungan kita na magkaroon ng full version nito. So once again, thank you for watching. This has been Josh, and this is Josh Learns to Dark.